All right, so what's up, everybody? Um, I'm down here at the river, uh, Conestoga, Conestoga River here in Millsville, Pennsylvania. And earlier this morning, I was down here fishing with a uh, topwater, a uh, wrapless skitter walk, and didn't get any bites, but came down here to where this fallen tree is over here. See this fallen down tree. Um, pulled off a lot of fish from this tree in the past, especially last summer. And we're starting to get them this year since the water's finally warmed up. And uh, at first I thought I saw a bunch of carp swimming around, but upon further inspection, uh, there's a couple big smallmouth actually bedding around this tree. And I threw my top water in here a bunch of times this morning, couldn't get any of them to bite. But I'm back here, it's a little after three o'clock in the afternoon. And we're going to throw this little four inch Senko and hopefully we can get at least one of these fish to bite. I think one of them's about a three pounder, probably about 19 inches long. And the other three were small, like 15 inch males, but nonetheless, they're still fun to catch in the river because these are hard fighting fish. So uh, we're going to get uh, right to it here and see if we can catch these guys. Okay, so I don't want to spook. I know there's one fish right down here that I've seen for the last three days. Um, I got him to hit my top water the other day, but I missed him, but I don't want to spook him. So I'm just gonna like pitch this out there and uh, see if he's in the area and willing to hit this Senko. Now earlier this morning the sun was shining on this tree and I could see everything um, quite well but now the sun's kind of gotten behind me and uh, there's a bunch of pollen on the water. So I can't really see anything now, but I know there's fish down there. Oh, look, he swiped that. He got it. I got him. It's a largemouth. It's a largemouth. It's a largemouth. There was not many of these things in here. That's a big largemouth for this place. Wow, that's what it is. That's the biggest largemouth I've caught in this area, guys. This, I can usually catch smallmouth down here. He's, he's bedding over here. He's on a nest. I gotta look at that. That's a good largemouth. Look at that. Hooked him perfectly. Wacky Cinco. I know he's on a bed over here. Look how fat that fish is. That might be a small female because you can see how small the mouth is in comparison to the body. That's probably the female that's getting ready to lay her eggs. I mean, look how fat that fish is. Wow. That is a very uh, nice largemouth for this river. I'm gonna get a picture of him real quick. All right, guys, here goes the release. That's easily a uh, pound and a quarter, pound and a half smallmouth. He is so fat, or smallmouth, largemouth, I meant. Sitting on a bed over here. We're gonna have to toss him down. This might be the same fish I saw this morning. So uh, there he goes. Another largemouth. Look at that. Are you kidding me, guys? I haven't caught two largemouth like. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Two largemouth in this river today? That's a two pounder. Nice fish. So here's the deal. I come down here and fish this river probably three times a week when it's nice out, when the water's warm. Been doing it since August, since I've been up here at college. We almost always catch smallmouth in here. 18, eight, up to 18, 19 inch smallmouth. The biggest bass I've caught in here has been 10 inches and only one of them, all right? And then all of a sudden this year, today, I've caught two bass, decent ones. That's probably a pre-spawn female. Look at, the, look at the eggs coming out of her. Yeah, look at the eggs coming out of her there. She's a female. She's probably bedding over there because this morning I saw a bass cruising right there. And so there's a bass over there on a bed. There's another female right here. That's just so weird. I've never caught any, any largemouth in here until today. But geez, that is a nice bass. Saw my line take off. I'm going to get a picture of this one too. Alright guys, here goes the release of this nice bass. Two largemouth, both decent ones. And up until today, I've never caught two largemouth in here th that size. Like, that's just, that's weird. Thought for sure that was going to be a smallmouth. I ain't complaining. Them things fight hard. These river bass, they got, they're a lot stronger than their pond, typical pond bass. 
wacky worm. I bet you both of those fish are sitting on beds because that one had eggs in it. That one had eggs in it. Wow, that's fun. Let's get back at it. Got one. It's another largemouth. Are you kidding me? I've caught three largemouth down here today. That is... I can't believe that. Like, I haven't been, I've never caught largemouth in this river. I've only caught one other largemouth, 10 inches, and I've fished this place a dozen times. It's mostly smallmouth. And just today alone, I've caught three largemouth. That one was on the MEP spinner. Nice little bass. Floods must have pushed them down. We've had a lot of recent floods. Big one. It's a giant. Holy crap. It's huge. That's the same one I lost. Oh my god, that's my PB, I think. That's my PB. Huge smallmouth. Oh my god, that's got to be three pounds. I got to scale with me. Holy crap, that's huge. That's my PB. Yeah! Holy crap! That is a giant smallmouth. That's my PB smallmouth, guys. I think he's going to go three pounds. Damn it, I got nobody here to take a picture with me. Oh my gosh. That is that is huge. On a wacky Cinco. Good thing I got my scale with me. It's a giant. Holy crap. Look at that fish. All right, let's, we've got a scale and a measuring tape. That's how we're gonna do it. 3.08, let's do it again. 3.08. 3.08, that's my PB smallmouth. My previous PB smallmouth was in 2010. It was 2.75. Uh, we're gonna get a measure in this one now. I think it'll go 19 inches long. That is a tank. Uh, this one's probably gonna go 19 inches. That's my PB smallmouth. Damn, that thing is huge. Look at that. I think that's a uh, four inch pumpkin Cinco. I don't know who makes it. But uh, dang, that thing is, what a fight he put up, huh? Yep. 19 inches right on the dot guys he's 19 inches on the dot that's my pb smallmouth man that's a huge fish all right i'm gonna get some pictures with him i'm gonna give him some more water i'll make sure he's good here i'm gonna get some pictures with him and everything and i'll get back with you guys with the release all right guys here goes the release of this giant smallmouth 3.08 pounds 19 inches long i caught a ton of 18 inches out of here but none this big that thing is huge. I couldn't be more proud. I had one steal my Cinco over there earlier. I think this might have been the same fish. All right, let's get a, uh, I don't want him to hit his head on any rocks swimming out of here, so I'm gonna go out a little further. I'm gonna get him out in this fresh current over here. All right, he's, he's ready. I've been holding him in the water a while, so he's, he's good. I'm just gonna get some uh, water in his uh, gills here. And uh, she should be ready to go off. This is probably a female. Look at that fish. Huge smallmouth. Look at that. There she goes, baby. That's how we do it. Big smallmouth. Oh no. Look at that. Yep. Yep. Shit. Guys, I was stuck on a rock or a log or something with my jerk bait 
and I'm running out here trying to get the snag out and a fish pulls it off the snag for me. Look at the smallmouth. It was snagged on a rock and I had to get out here to try to get it out and the fish took it off for me. That's, that's ridiculous. I've never had that happen before. I've seen it happen a bunch of times on YouTube videos, but not to me. That's just fun, neat. Look at that. It's a nice little smallmouth. I'll take him any day. Real fat, too. Like He's got a little gut in on him. Snagged the jerk bait, the Rapala Husky Jerk, on a rock, and this fish pulled it off for me. That's funny. There he goes.